can't believe it. First video in this series and the heavens have just opened. What a difference a day makes. Not even a full day. Yesterday evening, that was a pool of water. It's obviously decanted itself into the stream. Somebody's had a go at walking through that. Any tracks? Can't see any obvious ones. Apart from these here, just a dog. Those clouds look a bit ominous. The wind's picking up as well. Could be rain on the way. Good morning everybody and welcome to the first of a new series of episodes. This is the wildlife and nature vlog with me, Jester Bushcraft, and uh, it's just started raining. Um, for those of you that are new, wow, for those of you that are new to the uh, channel, this is a continuation of the lockdown series of videos that I've been doing and uh, I've just completed the 100th sort of lockdown day 100 video and uh, if you've not seen any of those you might want to go back and uh, check on the lockdown playlist but basically I come out every day checking on the wildlife and the nature and uh, I come out in most weathers. Today probably been one of the worst. Can't believe it. First video in this series and the heavens have just opened. I've got me Nikon cool picks with me, which I'm gonna have to tuck inside my jacket. Oh. And now I can't do the zip up. Oh boy, wasn't expecting this. When I looked out the window this morning, it's probably about half past seven in the morning. I normally come out earlier than this. It looked all right. And just as I entered the field, where I do most of my walks, um, you can see the black clouds sort of uh, building up in the distance. And literally, minutes later, here we are. So yeah, basically what I'll be doing is I'm, I normally have a walk around my local woodland, uh, these two meadows that I'm in now. This is where I've seen uh, foxes, buzzards, woodpeckers, tawny owls, lots of rabbits, lots of other birds, but most recently um, a kestrel family where there's been a parent and uh, bringing up four youngsters in one of the nest boxes in, in a tree just behind me. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go and check on now uh, and then after that might be a case of heading back I've already found some fungi um, that I also keep an eye on in the uh, adjacent woodland this chicken of the woods is really going past its best now you'll often find fungi like this on like rotting or decaying trees but at first glance, you won't think there was anything wrong with this tree. But if you look, there are signs of woodpecker holes there, and there's some others around the other side of the tree. And that just might be that uh, behind the bark, you can sometimes feel it's hollow behind. There might just be some decaying wood behind the bark, which is what that fungi has uh, been attracted to. This tinder fungus is really starting to develop now. This is one we picked up on several months ago actually. And you can see it's starting to develop. That's probably where it was originally. You can see these other layers are starting to form. And uh, we're always keeping an eye out for other things as well, which I'll always bring to you in uh, these videos. Right. Carry on. I hope you're nice and dry at home with your cup of tea and your dressing gown on. 
Right, you never know, it might clear up, but it's not looking good. We've been following these kestrels for a number of weeks now, and they're uh, just at the stage where they're going to be fledging and leaving the nest, and uh, that might be the last we see of them. So, uh, if you want to see more of how we uh, first found the kestrels and followed the progress, then uh, if you look back at the uh, lockdown videos, probably in the late 80s, 90s, uh, I don't mean 1980, 1990, uh, lockdown day 89, 90, um, and you've got to see how they've developed and moved away from uh, the two of them right in front of me now, just flying from this tree back to the nest box. Oh, blimey. Just gives you an idea of the amount of rain we've, we've had. That's normally a dry sort of brook. You can usually walk through that. Not today. It's actually stopped raining now. There's a slight break in the cloud there, so I can now actually continue my walk and uh, see if there's anything else to bring you. No signs of the kestrels, not around here. That's where they would normally be hanging out. But they're obviously in a tree somewhere. I couldn't have timed that any worse, really. If I'd have come out at my usual time, about quarter to six in the morning, I probably would have been all right. But that five minute downpour has soaked me through to the skin now. But we will carry on. Here's the apple tree that we've been keeping an eye on. But uh, it looks like somebody's uh, already been taking a few. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be an apple in there with my name on it somewhere. Ah, there we go. Yeah, perfect. This is the uh, Leatherman Rebar, multi-tool, really good knife this. The reason I went for this one is because it has a saw built in, which is great for pruning saplings, for making tools or making little spoons or walking sticks. Or just tidying up branches that have been snapped off by people, which we've seen in the past. It's ideal for that. Lockable. You just need to be aware of your knife laws when you're carrying this, especially in the UK. But yeah, that's the uh, Leatherman Rebar. Really good multi tool. And uh, as always, I'll put a link down in the description. Very tart. It's alright though, edible. Obviously, it's an apple. But yeah, it's very tart that. Hmm. Keep me going. So I have just spotted one of the youngsters in the nest box. Had its little fly around and it's just come back just for a nice uh, sheltered sit down before going out again no doubt so yeah there was actually two in the box so maybe we, they'll be there for a few more days yet and um, they obviously like coming back to the nest box just for a bit of security maybe we'll get to enjoy them for a bit longer right i'm just going to carry on through the meadows now the sun's coming up now see behind me. Looks quite nice against the grey clouds actually.
This is probably the fullest I've ever seen this stream. It's backing up a bit there though. That'll need cleaning out soon. But the kids come round here chucking the wood in and leaving all the rubbish which is another thing I clean up on a regular basis. Sun's starting to break through now. Lovely blue sky there. It's looking much better. Oh, looky here. I do believe these are raspberries. I've been walking past this bush for weeks. I've never noticed these. Yeah, raspberries. Mmm, they are nice. Keep me eye on them. All the way along there. That's going to keep me going. So we've got the apples and the raspberries. It won't be long before the blackberries are ready for eating. So welcome back to a changing days and also a changing weather. It's been absolutely glorious today. It's been really sunny and warm and uh, I took the opportunity to come out this afternoon and just have a wander around the meadows and uh, I was amazed at the amount of butterflies and insects that were out and about on all the different plants, uh, several different species of butterfly, lots of different insects, lots of new insects that I've not seen before. Um, but I'm also starting to see a lot of new fungi as well appearing in the woodland. So that was good to uh, spot and just do a bit of research when I went back. And uh, I also checked up on the kestrels as well. They're still flying around. The fields uh, they're still returning to the nest box so they've uh, not flown the nest yet i'm just stood by the tree now and i can see them in the nest box and there's a, one or two of them just uh, hanging around in the trees and just having a bit of a fly around so uh, yeah it's been a really good afternoon and um, i've really enjoyed it took loads of photographs just come out now in the evening it's about quarter to eight in the evening and uh, I've just come out with the phone today and the gimbal not brought the camera or the binoculars just thought I'd come out for a leisurely stroll right so there you go that's the uh, first episode in the new series of the wildlife and nature vlog um, I hope you enjoyed that lots of new things to show you with the uh, butterflies and all the different insects and uh, some new fungi as well so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up as always. If you're new to the channel or if you've not yet subscribed, then click on the icon here. 
or the one down below and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video there'll be a couple of videos here you're more than welcome to watch if you enjoyed this one so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode